Welcome to BulkReefSupply.com. This is a demonstration of our alkalinity additives. They can both be used in their popular two-part solution or on their own as a standalone alkalinity additive. The first option is sodium bicarbonate, which will have a slight temporary lowering effect on your pH and is used in recipe two if you're using the two-part solution. Second choice is sodium carbonate, which is also known as soda ash. Soda ash will significantly raise your pH and is used in recipe one of the popular two-part solution. Recipe one is by far the most popular choice because it raises your pH. Some people like to create a buffer that has very minimal effect on the pH. This can be done by mixing both the soda ash and sodium bicarbonate together. You add one cup of sodium bicarbonate and one eighth cup of soda ash to a gallon of water and shake. You may use a recipe two option in our calculator to figure out how much to use in your aquarium. This mix will be very similar to most of the alkalinity additives on the market. If you look on the back of their packaging, it will say the product is a mix of sodium bicarbonate and carbonate salts, which is exactly what this is. Some retail additives will also include borate salts, which artificially keeps the pH high. Most Aquarius consider borate salts to be undesirable because nothing in our aquariums utilizes it, and it tends to build up with frequent additions. The elevated levels of borate will fool our alkalinity tests into believing there's more usable alkalinity in the water than there really is. Figuring out how much alkalinity to use is extremely easy with our calcium and alkalinity calculator. Simply click on the link at the top of our web page to open the calculator. The first box is your total system water volume. This is your tank and sump minus the rock and sand. For this we'll use 100 gallons. There's an option for a variety of different alkalinity measurements. Many Aquarius choose to use the DKH scale. Then you enter your current alkalinity level. For this example we'll enter 7 and the desired alkalinity level and we'll enter 8. Then open the drop down menu and you'll see the available options for adjusting your alkalinity. The first option is a sodium bicarbonate and then we have the sodium carbonate also known as soda ash. Both of these will need to be dissolved in water. And then we have the pre-mixed recipe 1 and 2, which of course are already dissolved in water. For this example, I'm going to use the soda ash or sodium carbonate. And it says I need 7.1 grams, 1.5 teaspoons, or 0.2 ounces to raise the level from 7 to 8. On the left you'll see some instructions on how to add the soda ash to your aquarium mainly that you need to fully dissolve it in some filtered water. Also that it will significantly increase the pH of your aquarium. It is temporary. And that you should avoid raising the pH more than 0.2 points at any given time. 